We're broadcasting live today at uh, Fashion Furniture, and we were over at Lou Rodman's a little while ago, but right next door is Fashion Furniture, and they're uh, sharing a little bit of the love today because we're talking about the Clear the Shelters event, and Ruben Cantu is here with uh, a, a little kitty, and who, who do we bring uh, today? Yeah, with me today is my friend Crybaby. She's about a Crybaby. three and a half month old female tortoiseshell kitty, um, who's the sweetest thing. You know, yeah. uh, she is helping me enjoy my favorite thing to do when I'm at home is sit in my recliner and hang out with my cat. Oh my god! And it's just like as you can see, she's just the sweetest thing. She's absolutely ready for a home that can do this with her as often as they can. Now we've been pretty good about making sure she didn't put her paws on on the furniture, right? Because not declawed or anything, right? Yeah, absolutely not. And you know, there are definitely other options uh, to look at before ever considering declawing your cat. One is give them the enrichment and activities they need to be happy. You know, rather than have them scratch your couch, get them a cat tree, get them different cat toys and things like that that will help their mind um, revert into those are my toys, not the couch. And there are things like nail covers that work like little jail caps that you glue onto their nails. They last about a month. It's a really simple process to get your cat used to, especially if you start young at this age. Okay. So, and then they last a month. I, I heard you say that uh, this week, but I didn't realize they last a long time like that. Yeah, so almost like when uh, uh, somebody goes to get their nails done, they use a glue to keep that solution on there for as long as they can. It's very similar to the cats. It's a non-abrasive. It, it doesn't cause any kind of damage. And yeah, they usually, for the most part, last about a month unless the cat can kind of figure out if I chew on them the right way, I can get them off. But it's a painless type of procedure. It maybe is a little uncomfortable for them to be handled for the few minutes that it takes, but it doesn't cost any lifelong uh, repercussions or injuries or uncomfortableness to those those paws okay and so uh, if somebody wants to adopt a, a, the, this tortoise shell uh, how rare are these? Uh, you know, we see these guys pretty often. You know, it's definitely rare to see them as a boy. They're typically more girls than, than oh. we see. There's a handful of cat breeds that you see more of one gender versus the other. Orange cats, for example, more times than not are male cats. Uh, calicos are almost 100% females. Tortie shells, you see more girls than you see boys, but it is common to see one or the other. This it just is depends. a boy. This is a girl. She's this is a girl. girl. Okay, yes. so you're okay. We're a little more common. Okay. <laughs> All right, so um, we're going to talk about in the next half hour, we're going to go back over to Lou Ramens and uh, uh, talk about cats and dogs and furniture because we're over at Fashion Furniture also at Lou Robbins because if you're going to get some new furniture you you need to all oh, always oh, He's doing cute poses now. Come on, we can't go to weather while the cat's doing cute poses. Oh, all right. I guess we, I guess we have to eventually. 